Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I would like to show you the updated version of Private GPT. Private GPT, as showcased in my original build video, was designed to be a fast, nimble AI tool you can use to interact and chat with documents stored on your local PC. This build was optimized to run off your CPU and it had very good performance. The development of Private GPT has changed in a new direction. It now ships with a user interface and can be configured to leverage either your CPU, GPU or use OpenAI. Take a look at the updated Private GPT interface. Now the user interface allows you to query your docs in a well-formatted web user interface. In this example, I requested it to ingest and summarize its own readme file from the repo. Private GPT now has two new features on the user interface. First, the capability to search documents. In this example, I ask it to find high-level API in the readme and these are the results returned. And lastly, you now have a full large language model at your disposal and you can interact with this on other topics just like you would with ChatGPT. Now let's delve into how to get Private GPT working on your own Windows PC. You can visit the official GitHub page for Private GPT using this link and I will leave all the links used in this video in the video description. If you still want to build the previous version of Private GPT, you can find a link to what's now called the primordial version on the Private GPT GitHub page. On the project GitHub page, you will find the documentation link to the official project documentation and this contains most of the steps I'll be using. To build and configure Private GPT on your PC, you need to first download and install all the required software. First, download Git for Windows. Next, download a version of Python 3.11. It's important to use the correct version of Python here. Grab a copy of Anaconda. We're going to use this to run Private GPT in its own environment. And lastly, download a copy of Visual Studio Community Edition. And now that we have all the software downloaded, first install Git and you can accept all the defaults. And now that we've got Git successfully installed, let's install Python 3.11. And when the installer launches, Make sure you select this checkbox to add Python to your path. Then go ahead, install Python. Now with Python successfully installed, let's move on to Anaconda. I'm going to go with the default options detected by Anaconda, as you can see on the following screens. Now go ahead, install Anaconda. Now you are ready to install Visual Studio Community Edition. Run the installer. And when presented with this options dashboard, ensure you select desktop development with C++ and the universal Windows platform development. Click on install. When the installation completes, it will launch Visual Studio. You can skip registration, choose your theme, let Visual Studio launch, and afterwards close it, as well as the installer when everything is complete. Let's start configuring the environment for Private GPT. Open a command prompt in admin mode. Now, you want to run the following commands in a command prompt. The first thing we want to do is upgrade pip. Go ahead and execute the following command. Python space dash m space pip space install space dash dash upgrade space pip. Go ahead, execute this command and upgrade pip. Install pipx. We need this to install poetry. Execute pip space install space pipx. And now we can utilize pipx to install poetry. Execute the following command. pipx space install space poetry. You have to execute the following command to add the install to your path. Execute pipx space ensure path. And we can now close this command prompt window. Now open an anaconda prompt and make sure you're running it in admin mode. 
Now let's create a Conda environment for private GPT. Execute the following command Conda space create space dash n space private GPT space your Python version 3.11. Activate your new environment. Execute Conda space activate space private GPT. And if your environment activated successfully, it should show private GPT in brackets. Now we need to create a project folder for private GPT. I'm going to change directory into the root of my drive. Now I'll use the make directory command to create a project folder. In my case, I'm going to call it pgpt. Now let's change directory into the project folder we just created. We're now ready to clone the project. Now before you clone the repo, again make sure the environment is activated, that you're in the project folder you just created. Then go ahead and execute the following git clone command. When cloning the repo, git will create a new folder called private GPT. Enter that folder, otherwise the following commands will fail. We will now use Poetry to install private GPT. This command will install private GPT with its web user interface and it will also configure it for local large language models and embeddings. Execute poetry space install space dash dash with space UI comma local. Make sure your install is green across the board. Then let's proceed to download and configure the models. We will execute this command and this will download and configure private GPT with the Mistral 7B model. Now that the models are downloaded, we are ready to launch private GPT. Currently, private GPT is configured and will run painfully slow off your CPU. I will show you next how to configure private GPT for NVIDIA GPUs and also show you how to run this against OpenAI. Stick around as this is lightning fast. Now to launch private GPT, execute the following command. Poetry space run space python space dash m space private underscore gpt now you can verify that private gpt launched successfully and you should have a web server running on port 8001 i'm now going to interact with the large language model using the cpu i'm asking it to tell me a joke and you will see it will literally take minutes to complete the joke we have two options to speed up performance we can run private GPT either against an NVIDIA GPU or against OpenAI using an API key. Now, if you want instant performance, let's configure private GPT to use OpenAI as the large language model. You will require an OpenAI API key. If you don't know how to generate OpenAI API keys, please have a look at this video on our channel. Open your Anaconda prompt. Press Ctrl C to stop private GPT. Now with private GPT stopped, we can now set the OpenAI key as an environment variable. Execute set x OpenAI underscore API underscore key and paste in your OpenAI API key. Now let's configure private GPT to use OpenAI. Open your Windows Explorer and navigate to the project folder where you install private GPT. We're looking for this settings.yaml file. Right click and open the settings.yaml file in your editor. In the config file on line 35, you will see the large language model defined as local and it's using the Mistral 7B model downloaded earlier. Change this mode on line 36 to OpenAI. You can also use OpenAI for your embedding model. If you want to do that, change line 44 to OpenAI. I will only change the large language model to OpenAI. Let's save this file and exit the editor. Now execute the private GPT launch command. And when it launches, check that you can see the large language model being loaded as OpenAI. And now using OpenAI, you should see near instantaneous responses from either using the chat, searching your documents or querying documents, like you can see in this example. And if you're ready to revert back to full local execution, first stop private GPT, then edit your settings.yaml file again 
and revert back to local. And now lastly, I'm just quickly going to talk you through the required steps to set up private GPT for your NVIDIA GPU. And you can follow along using the steps in the official project documentation. Now it's asking us to install Visual Studio Community Edition. This we already completed in the beginning of the video. Then it's asking to install the CUDA Toolkit, link available here. Now you can execute these commands in a terminal to verify that your GPU is being detected. And for now you can skip CMake. Only install this if you experience any build or compilation errors. Now with all the dependencies taken care of, copy the following PowerShell command from the website. This command must be executed in an Anaconda PowerShell terminal. Launch an Anaconda PowerShell terminal in admin mode. Now in your Anaconda PowerShell prompt, browse back to your private GPT folder and activate the Conda environment for private GPT again. Now paste the CMake environment arguments we copied from the website into your Anaconda PowerShell prompt. And beware, when you paste this command into the PowerShell prompt, the process will immediately start. Now make sure this PowerShell command executed successfully and that you're not presented with any errors on your screen. Now make sure you close the PowerShell terminal that we used to run this command in. Open a fresh Anaconda terminal in admin mode. Again, navigate to your private GPT project folder and activate the Conda environment. And you should now be in a position to run the launch command again and have private GPT running off your NVIDIA GPU. Thank you for watching the video up to this point. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And keep an eye on our channel for future AI and technology videos.